Thank you for joining me. As I talk to Leslie Fergretti, and, I'm, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, <laughs> live from Philadelphia on the International Flower Show. I love flowers. Leslie, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And you're right. I'm here at the International Flower Show in Philadelphia on behalf of Plastics Make It Possible. And after this long, snowy, gross winter that all of us have had, let me tell you, walking in that front door and just being completely overwhelmed by wonderful flower scents and beautiful sights, it's really amazing what some imagination and creativity can do with flowers. And it truly inspires me to go and do something great in the backyard. It's so beautiful where you are. So vicariously take those who are only listening, but some of the people are viewing. So tell us what tell us what's going on. Well, the theme this year is springtime in Paris. So you walk right into this wonderful, gigantic Eiffel Tower, beautiful flowers, even like a flower carousel with a lion and an ostrich. I mean, it's fantastic. And then that's sort of the grandest part of it. But as you walk through, you really see what the trends are in gardening. And it's really nice to see that greenery is sort of taking a forefront as a color itself, but also green is becoming this wonderful, sustainable frame of mind and that people are really looking for eco-friendly products when it comes to using things in their yard and garden. When you say eco-friendly, tell me, because, mm -hmm. you know, one time the herbicide just like to took me out one summer, so yeah. tell me what we got. And it's interesting because eco-friendly means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but what I've noticed a big trend is sustainability and recycling. So it's really exciting to see a lot of products on the show floor that are made out of recycled plastics or even just plastic because it's a great material, it's durable, it's lightweight, it resists insects, it's not going to grow mold or mildew. So when you're looking for things around the yard, and I've really been keeping my eyes open on the show floor for items like that. You know, I found a great pair of gloves from West County Garden that are made from recycled plastic, mostly recycled water bottles. So if you buy a pair of gloves, you're keeping one bottle out of a landfill. I have a two-year-old, so I'm always looking for things that I can, you know, involve my son in as I'm doing projects around the house. And I saw adorable watering cans, elephants, dolphins, dinosaurs. I know he's going to want to just jump in and help me out with these projects. Really <laughs> cute plastic vases. I mean, how adorable is that? It's free standing line up a whole bunch of them on your outdoor dining table and you've got a great centerpiece and pick flowers right from the garden lowell has a great recycled plastic birdhouse with a great modern design and a fun color crescent came out with a wonderful line of plastic planters that look just like terracotta but they're durable they're lightweight they're not going to get knocked over and get broken so they'll stand up to all of the elements and they just look fantastic now when it comes to your outdoor space if you've got the opportunity composite materials are great because when it comes to decking if you've got a wood deck you know that every year every other year you're refinishing you're getting rid of the splinters it's that's a true. lot of work so composites are great and trex has a composite decking material that's made out of 90% recycled plastic bags. And the rest is like oh, a really? sawdust and an adhesive, so it's not going to grow mold or mildew. Termites and insects want nothing to do with it. It's super durable, and once it's on, you will never refinish it. So it's really a great way to have a beautiful, durable deck that's going to stand up and really give you time to enjoy the out of doors. And Trex is so popular that they came out with a line of outdoor furnishings that's made from recycled milk jugs. So it's gorgeous, but it's durable, and again, you will never have to paint it, stand it, refinish it, just give it a good cleaning with a pressure washer, and then enjoy. That should just add 10 years to our lives. Let me exactly. ask you this. Even though they're, 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 re they're recycled materials, can we recycle when we get tired of them? Can we? Absolutely. All plastics are recyclable. If you don't know how to do it, contact your local municipality, ask them questions. Say, how do I recycle this? What goes to my curbside? If it doesn't go to my go to favorite spot called mm -hmm. Earth 911. Earth 911. <laughs> That's a great website. I mean, you type in your zip code and what you have to recycle, and it will tell you exactly where to take that or how to put it on your curb. And even plastic bags, you know, not just the grocery store bags, but dry cleaning bags, the wrapping from diapers, the wrapping from paper towels, your newspaper bag, toilet paper, all of that plastic, put it right into one of those grocery bags, and the next time you go to the supermarket, put it right into that receptacle because it's all recyclable. What has been the most, there's so much there that obviously has stimulated you. Tell me what's, <laughs> most inspi what's the most inspiring flower that you see there? Oh, my goodness. I really love orchids, so it's nice to see a wonderful orchid display. And I mostly love them just because they're so delicate and stunning, but I also cannot 
keep one in my house to save my life, and I try really hard. So to see a wonderful Both display of, of thriving orchids is just phenomenal. And a big trend that I've been seeing is for people short on space, something called vertical gardening. You know, use a wall, go up, stack up planters. And a great product that we found from Woolly Pockets is made from 100% recycled plastic, and it sort of has like a felt feel to it, so it's not rough. And you attach it to your wall, almost like a shoe hanger in your closet, and then you plant into those pockets. And if you lay Layer them sort of one on top of another, you can create this wonderful cascading greenery that's just got this earthy hippie vibe that looks fantastic. What a great idea! It's beautiful. But you've been so inspiring to us. Now we want to go and put our garden clothes <laughs> on and, and, and get ready, you know, because spring is here. Mother Nature has already shown me spring is already Good. here. Well, two weeks left on the calendar, but if you want to check everything out, head on over to PlasticsMakeItPossible.com, and you can go there slash garden, and you'll have an opportunity to win a lot of great prizes, the Trex Furnishing, the Woolly Planters. So head on over to PlasticsMakeItPossible.com slash garden for your chance to win. Well, Leslie, thanks for being my Living Green <laughs> interview today, live from Thank the 2011 you. International Farmer Show, Springtime in Paris. Thanks, Phoebe. Make it a great day. You too.